Apparently, I did this wrong. You're not supposed to pull out the lantern next to him. Well, you can do this and he'll get a reaction out of it, obviously. I'm apparently supposed to do it on the upper floor. <laughs> what the heck? Is that like water or something like that? I did not know about that, so sorry for not showing that. <laughs> Thanks for telling me about that, guys. Now back to Lake Hylia. Now I can say yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Pressing the A button to swim over and over that makes you swim rapidly as opposed to holding the button. See that's holding the button normally. This is rapidly pressing the A button. Look at his feet go! So anyway, your objective here is to go all the way to the bottom of Lake Hylia. And that's where the next temple is. It's quite a long swim. But just enjoy it, for its beauty is unmatched. Well, okay, it's... I'm sure there's something that can match it, but anyway. <laughs> I plot, go to the bottom, and... I'll be talking to the Zoras as well as clearing out this place here. What do you have to say to me? You know, come to think of it, I was able to talk to you, but not any of the other... Uh, the people at Hyrule Castle Town that were moving, so you're a lot friendlier than humans. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I'm going to grab this. Didn't tell me the amount because uh, I was underwater and yeah, you don't have a place to land and for it to do the little cutscene thingy. Why, yes I am, so you know the legend. Uh, I guess you could buy them here as well, but I, I think I would prefer buying them at Barnes Bomb Shop anyway. And clearly I knew exactly what I was doing ahead of time because I bought the bombs ahead of time. Uh, and plop. I'm going to blow this up. There be some rupees. Oh sure, now you tell me. <laughs> Thank you for informing me of all the amounts of these rupees. I am glad to get this out of the way early. <laughs> and there is, I believe, another one. Another yellow rupee over here. Delightful. And now I'm going to chat with this guy. Here. You know, the entrance is over there is blocked. That is the uh, lake bed temple. And that's why they blocked it in, because they, the monsters are in there, they can't do anything about them on, on their own, apparently. So it looks like it's up to us once again. Chuck a bomb onto this. It opens! Yeah, there's a little puzzle just to get inside the temple. I'll throw another one onto the currents. and try to get the camera angle in front. There we go. I mean, get the camera angle looking up, so if you can see what's going on. And to the temple we go! Do not get stuck on the edge, Link. The worst is over. The edge should not be your biggest obstacle. <laughs> Alright, the Lake Bed Temple. The third temple in the game. And this is a prime example of why this Zelda game is my favorite Zelda game. You know how the water dungeon is typically the worst dungeon in any Zelda game? Not in this one. They make it so delightfully intuitive and fun to play, that is a shell blade by the way, that I do not have any qualms to this place whatsoever. I want to hug the wall so I don't get... I was going to get zapped anyway, wasn't I? <laughs> uh, anyway, that was a Bari. You remember those from Ocarina of Time, the electrified jellyfish. I'm trying to get... What am I stuck on, anyway? <laughs> I'm trying to... Oh, for some reason it wasn't registering my tilt on the controller. That was weird. No wonder I had a little control issue there. <laughs> so anyway, surface. And here's the main entrance. Also notice how natural dungeons look and feel in this game. In that they always feel like that they belong in the area that they're in. It's like, it's not like it's, it is a random castle place or something just strewn about there. It is an, actu an actual dungeon that feels like it should be where it is. And that's another thing that I really like about the Zelda games is that 
there's oh, I should, where I should probably cry uh, yeah I should probably grab that in a bottle so I'd like to show you what it is it's a red chew jelly yeah that's a red chew it replenishes eight hearts uh, there's a purple one which is kind of risky <laughs> I'll, I'll probably get some chew jelly from that as well. It's I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. Blue rupees are worth five, just in case you didn't know that. Just thought I would tell you that. <laughs> and I'm going to scoop the purple one and take a risk. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh... It's as bad as that guy's soup. <laughs> I think it can it can recover your hearts, but but otherwise, um, it, it's like a gamble of sorts. Maybe maybe that's what that guy's soup is like as well. Maybe his soup is a 50-50 gamble. <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe it's possible his soup could recover some health. Oh! How dare you! Where are these chews coming from? Are they popping in from the ceiling? I'm going to grab some red stuff just for later and conserve it. Just because 8 hearts is rather nice. That is a full health recovery, actually, at this point in the game. And... That's how you open that door. Remember how... I mean, just remember how that switch worked and... Uh, that's pretty much how the dungeon works. There's a bunch of switches like that that you're gonna have to pull to manipulate things throughout the dungeon. So, just memorize where the switches are, per se. And this particular water dungeon, as I said, a lot, lot better than other water dungeons because of the fact that it's much more intuitive in its design. So, Midna is hinting that I should be doing this. And, well, she is sort of hinting at that. <laughs> So blast all those down. Is it? Did I miss any? I don't think I missed any. Oh, okay, let's just go. And this is a Helmosaur. You cannot attack them from the front. You have to attack them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't have my sword out. <laughs> I, I rolled instead of doing a jump attack. They die to a jump attack in one hit. Ah! Smooth move. <laughs> Come on. I am... Doing a terrible job. Maybe I should just attack them normally. <laughs> and that other hopping critter that you've seen down there was a Tektite. I'll be exploring all these rooms as best I can. At least until I get the uh, uh, compass, then I'll be able to easily find my way around things. And once you kill one of those Helmosaurs, they actually drop their little helmet thing. And you can use that to throw out enemies and stuff like that. I'm going to attempt to... Th Ow. I'm going to attempt to throw it at that critter like that. It doesn't do all that much and it's kind of clunky to do so, but it's kind of funny that you're able to do that. <laughs> Anything else down here of interest? I don't know. Oh, you notice that they scoot along the water surface. Like those uh, water bugs. I forgot the name of them. That they use the oil on the tips of their, or I mean the hairs on the tips of their feet to uh, float on the surface of water. Or maybe it's hairy oil or something like that. That actually sounds kind of gross. <laughs> uh, so that's why you want to shoot those things down from the ceiling, by the way. So that you can get up here. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck on the lower level. Do I have to kill all the critters in this room? I really hope not, because I think I'm just going to skip them. <laughs> I know there's a chest up here, but is it something... Eh... <laughs> I was bonking my head on the ceiling as I was climbing up. I don't know if there's anything of interest in this room. I suppose it's nice to refill your water bombs, you know, the ones that you needed to even get into this temple to begin with. Oh, and the yellow rupees are worth 10, just to remind you about that as well. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Another little cutscene. This place just looks so awesome couple of water wheels over there. That's on other paths. And here is your classic Lizaphos. These guys are even weaker than in other Zelda games. 
Yeah, they're even easier to defeat than in Ocarina of Time, and I didn't have any trouble with them whatsoever. Just, if they're going to attack you, backflip or side flip to the side, you can even guard just by not doing anything with your shield, and yeah. So here's the main room. Your goal is to get to that uh, central pillar over there by raising the water level. Just saying. But you can't do that just by jumping down onto it. Although there's probably some sort of skip that you can do. Like by some pro speedrunner or something like that. Knowing how speedrunners know how to uh, figure out ways how to get around things. Anyway! Go down these stairs. Oh, and here's something funny. If you try to roll up the stairs, you hit your head on the front of the stairs. It's kind of realistic, I suppose. <laughs> but if you're, you know, rolling all the time, it gets kind of annoying. Just pay attention to where the stairs are and you won't bonk your head. Well, that's only if you're going up, not when you're going down. I think this is a dead end right now. Yeah, because I need to do something. I don't want to say what it is just yet. But it involves this trench that I'm standing in right here. So anyway, let's go around and I believe I need a switch. Well, at least another another one of those switches. Like at the first room to open the doors. That's a rather violent death. Cuts his legs right off. I like this right here. Oh wait, wait, there's a chest. Might as well grab that. Uh, I didn't really need that, did I? <laughs> oh, and uh, I should mention that when you use a bomb arrow, you use one arrow and one bomb, so maybe what I should do is do that, do that, and then switch them just to conserve my stuff, so to speak. And that flips the stairway. It seems complex, right? Or at least it's going to be complex for a water dungeon, but as I said, this place is rather intuitive for a water dungeon, and you'll see what I mean as I go. Um, I would like to free my friend here. Because <laughs> I'm sure you've seen him over there. I mean her over there, pardon me. I'm going to say the name again. I think it's Uko, just the way I'm pronouncing it, but I'm not sure. Oh, and I should also mention uh, a little... Easter egg the a designers put in. See that? O-O-C-C-O-O. -O -C -C -O -O. That is apparently the color code they used for Link's green palette color in the original Zelda game. So that's why they apparently named her that, which creates a impossible to pronounce name. <laughs> so uh, keep that in mind, kids. If you're going to name a character, do not name it after a color. <laughs> so that door is locked. So I have to go to the right, I just wanted to get to Uko. And... Anything over here? No! So we're moving on. And... Ow! Hitting our face into the wall, as usual! It wouldn't be a walkthrough part if I didn't hit my face in the wall. <laughs> uh, I'm not able to do anything about this now, am I? No! Okay. <laughs> I must get something going here before I can do so. And I think that something is to flip the stairway in this direction. And your body goes right through the stairway for some reason. <laughs> so now you want to go straight over to this door. And actually, is this... Yeah, it's blocked from both sides. Uh, blue rupees, they're worth five. Just I would remind you about that. Oh, is this a dungeon map? Dungeon map! Dungeon map! Gimme! 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 Yeah! This pleases PK Gam greatly. <laughs> All right, so let's go through this door and open. Says me. Finally, a path that we can go through. I'm just gonna avoid you because you're, you're just not worth my time. <laughs> they don't do very much. You're just there, I suppose. Uh, what is this room? A little bit of platforming, I see. Right, what's down there? Do I want to go down there? Probably not. It looks like the kind of place that you would fall and they would punish you for falling. And I fell. <laughs> so, well, I might as well show this anyway. Alright, looks like the legs actually just fall off after you kill them. I just want to 
take, take a little time to carefully look at that. See, watch. Oh no, maybe you do cut him off as it's falling down. That is rather violent. Definitely not kid friendly. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Well, get. Oh. No, that's not climbable? Really? It looks. Am I just supposed to use these to get back up? Looks like it. Guess only this is climbable. It just said it had a different colored wall, and I thought maybe it's a little grippier than the other ones. Oh, but I, I know what that that I was looking at before. I am just being an idiot. <laughs> so it doesn't look like I can do that jump, like, right from there. can, however, go through here. Is it possible to get through that? To jump over that? No, it's not. <laughs> I kind of forgot this room. And that's kind of a problem, but don't worry, I'll get through it. Eventually. <laughs> uh, maybe what I'm just supposed to do is flop my way up and around it like so. Maybe. Wait, what? Two paths? No, wait, I'll do the left side first, because I was there. Just want to make sure I clear everything. And camera angle, upskirt shots. <laughs> No, there really isn't anything over here. Okay, to the right we go. Is it po really possible to do those jumps up there? Didn't really feel like it to me. <laughs> and there's a treasure chest over there. Can I get that one? Uh, am I supposed to jump on top of that thing? I don't think I'm able to jump on top of that thing. Now, I don't think I can make this jump normally. Yeah. <laughs> because it has sort of like a repelling effect to that, um... To the water there. Alright, so back up we go. With another very, very, very slow climb. By the way, I don't think there's anything down that central area in the very middle of the dungeon. Just by design, there isn't anything there. Now, if I... Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Just wanted to try that one more time to be sure. But as I said, there's not... There's not... Nothing... If you jump down into the water in that center area, like the main area of the dungeon, there is just the, um... There's just a bunch of piranha down there. And they will attempt to nibble at you if you fall in the water. So it's a punishing area. Which tells me that you're not supposed to go there. <laughs> Alright, so let's actually get through this room, or actually, actually figure out how to get through this room for realsies this time, instead of flopping around. Okay. Can I actually make that jump to that thing? It just doesn't feel like you can, but at the same time, the... Because I know I'm supposed to make that spin. <laughs> No, I didn't think so. <sighs> Climbing back up. Yeah, I don't remember this room all that much, and that's kind of sucky, so I'm probably going to end up flailing around until I figure out this particular room once again. Unless I'm just supposed to follow whatever path, because I don't have the item to get the places like there just yet. Uh, am I supposed to bomb something under, at, I mean, on the bottom floor to raise the water? I don't, I mean, there's already water coming up, so it's like, hmm. <laughs> Am I supposed to, ah, ah, I remember now. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. No, wait, wait, do you actually, is that, that doesn't really help me, does it? Although, that would help me get across to that treasure chest. You know, the one that I didn't think I had access to before, but I failed to look up at the ceiling. <laughs> I bet you there's more of those things to blow up around here. Besides just that one. Aha! And now I can use that. So I hop on to it. Let me up, let me up! Oh. I can climb on top of that, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Compass? 
Will you be the compass? Probably not. Oh, the key is pretty nice. So that's probably actually what I needed, and I can't get anywhere further in this particular area. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped up. No, actually, it doesn't matter. I can just go around like this. I'll meet you back over by that locked door. And here we are. Let's go through. That's back at the main room, by the way. Just follow the stairs. And new room! Yay! Oh, this is actually a two-layer room, per se. There's a middle, middle portion and the outer portion. What's this? Did not need that. <laughs> well, actually, I kind of did, because I used the bomb arrows back at that other room, so I guess I'm okay. Uh, wait a second. What? Two? Where? Why? Oh. Always look at the ceiling. <laughs> Never know when you need to blow something up. <laughs> so, what, what was the point of that one? I don't know. So now I have access to these vines that I accidentally moved to the side because of the camera angle. <laughs> and going to scuttle my way across to the right. Do I want to drop off here? It seems like some place that I can... Yeah. And... That's probably something that I want to grab. So let's line ourselves up carefully! Ah, just a shortcut door. And... Might as well blow that up. No cutscene! No! How dare you! <laughs> that was not fair in the slightest. I'd like to go the other way, actually, first, I think. Could be wrong, though. I think the other one just loops ar around. We have a another Lizaphos. One of the weakest enemies ever. <laughs> it just went right off the edge. Uh, yeah, this... This leads me to this door, which lets me do an unlock of sorts on this side. Wait, 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 actually. There's this here. And this doesn't actually let me unlock something. Well, I mean, it does let me unlock something, but I thought I was going to make a, um, a like a pass-through back to that room, but I was mistaken. Um... Can't climb up there. I don't really care too much about you. Okay, so that's why I remembered I need to go through there. It wasn't to make a way back, it was to grab the key. As I said, I'm not going to know... I should, I should say I'm not going to remember everything about every dungeon offhand, so some of it's going to be improv-like. <laughs> and let's go through here. And, uh oh. I believe this is a chew worm. And I I don't think I can. I might be able to do something. Oh, I can. <laughs> Bombs solve everything, apparently. If it's not gonna die normally, just blow it up. Yeah, I think if you would attack your attack it with your sword, it's not going to work, so. Yeah. Alright. Now this is where the dungeon starts getting interesting. There's a switch over there, right? Well, get yourself all the way up to the top. Well, the dungeon's always interesting, but... This is where the main bulk of the dungeon starts. Uh, isn't anything down there? Just want to peek before I take my loop around here. Wah! Okay, you want to climb using these, and then use the... Uh, spiral ramp of sorts. I, I, I'm saying it's a ramp, but it's not actually a ramp. You'll see what I mean once I do what I'm supposed to do here. And go all the way up. You'll notice that there's these targets on the walls. 
remember those things just to uh, make note of them right now of what they look like just just saying <laughs> I don't want to spoil it anyway all the way up at the top is something very important it is a water dungeon after all so well, this isn't exactly the thing that's important ah, I could use them though a lot of water bombs here. And the thing, they're selling them for extravagant prices. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? It's not... I thought... Oh, poopers. It's not actually... Oh! How did I miss the ladder? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I, I like completely missed the ladder. That chest is something that you get later on. Anyway, open the gates. Now the water will start flowing. Uh, now you're not going to be able to get back up here without a tool much, much later in the game. So you won't be able to know what that treasure chest is until later. It's nothing that's drastically important per se. But yeah, this is a water slide of sorts, not a ramp. <laughs> Whee! And this takes you oh, ooh, This takes you over to the pool very quickly might I add right here and why are you grabbing onto the edge <laughs> and I believe there's also dangerous fish in here now no there's not hmm all right now that I got the water going you're going to see that things have changed Wait, did I miss oh, oh I forgot the switch in the center derp <laughs> this is why you want to raise the water to places so you have access to switches like this or levers whatever you want to call them this opens the floodgate, and this creates a water flow. What does this water flow do exactly? Well, it does stuff like this. I'll follow it back to the main room just to show you. Yeah, this is the place that I couldn't jump up for. You remember this? Yeah, with those surprise purple chews. It makes water wheels that are in its path move like so which lets you sneak into other areas, and that's why it is the main bulk of the dungeon. Um, fairy. Uh, am I missing something here on my way back? Is there something that I can blow up? Mm, what? I thought I, I'm supposed to go through here. No, or is this... Yeah, I can't open it with the A button. <laughs> I can't pick up the fairy because I'm at full health. Hmm. What am I missing around here? Can I get back through here? No, I can't. So it's definitely something that I'm missing here. I can hit you through the gate, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> Hang on, what, are, what the heck am I missing here? Oh, can I? Oh, I can go back through there. So this is just a dead end, and I'm thinking of... I don't know. Wait, what? Why can't I? <laughs> I can't get through it from the side, but I can walk under it like this, apparently. Huh. Okay. Did not expect that, but whatever. <laughs> so I guess I wasn't trapped there after all. Another derp. So anyway, this now moves. So I've got to get myself back to... I could just jump down to that room, couldn't I? But I would like to show you what happens to the central room before I end off this part, actually. So I'll go there first. And here's the water flow. Here is another Helmosaur. You have fun banging your face into the wall. Now this water leads to this. It fills it up just a little bit. And that gives us access to... Uh, fish, obviously, but not exactly. 
I believe there's a chest over here. Nope, nope, don't want to Z target you. Yeah, oh, that wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but at least I got that chest. You can get it with the iron boots later, but I just thought I would grab it now. Alright, I think I'm going to end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue the rest of this dungeon and, you know, climb myself out of here extremely slowly. See you there!